Okay, guys, we have talked about this dude before. We've made one or two memes about him, like this one. It looks very, uh, similar. You're fake. If you do this, I will lose everything. There's not a paper in town that will hire me. You should have thought of that earlier. Show this to your editor. Tell him to check his source next time. It's a fake. Pack your things. Get out of my building. I was just You're fired! But then, uh, he decided he'd come back. Yes. He decided that Multiple he Multiple times, actually, he's tried. Okay. He, he has tried to make comeback tours in the past. Yes. Uh, he went for quite a while just trying to grind it out on YouTube without really doing a proper apology. Then he did a proper apology, okay? And it was like a two minute video where he just took responsibility and he's like, you know what, I've learned my lesson, I fucked up, that's it. Then radio silence. Then he turned back up again, and then I got involved. Turned out to be a very bad idea. Yes. And it's all gotten very messy. Here uh, we go. Let's talk about after the drop. Sorry, well, I feel like the drop was already done, but no, let's do it again. Let's do the drop. Okay, guys, so this has been the trilogy of apologies now, okay? So he did, <laughs> originally he did an apology, then he took it down, then he took another one, then he did regarding my apology, and all the comment sections were like, apology, the trilogy. <laughs> so, it, it, look, he's been doing a lot. He, this has been, Philip Newson, of course, everyone knows the story. If you don't, he plagiarized a review from Boomstick Gaming on YouTube about two years ago when we were in QuakeCon in 2018, around August, okay? But then after that, he was like, I dare you to find some other examples. That's true. And then he, people found other examples. Yes. There are at least four or five other instances where this guy had plagiarized. I think Jason Schreier found some of them. Other keen-eyed forum users found others. Yep. Uh, this guy definitely did the rounds when it came when it comes to plagiarism. Yes. Uh, multiple times. Okay. So that was all discovered. He did issue a really weak-ass fake apology video that everyone hated. Yeah. And then he started trying to kind of grind out on YouTube. Yeah. You know, like he's like, I'm gonna just try and make honest original content. And uh, let's see how it goes. Channel wasn't really having it. Look, the the like, like ratio said it all. But look, I will say, the like ratio at the beginning in the comment sections were so just unbelievably, no, you're never coming back. Sure. Talk, uh, you know, get out of here. We'll never trust you again. Like ratio was like 20% up. So it was not looking good. But slowly but surely, I will say, it did seem that the like ratio was slowly but surely turning around. And every other video that he did put up, it looked like the like ratio was maybe going to start tipping over into the green. It took 11 months until the video he's just put up about a day or two ago. It was an 11 month span between it of nothing. And the last video he's put up, of course, is a Dead Cells review. <laughs> All right? It's a very he's honest- He's not letting it die, everyone. It's a very honest and original review of Dead Cells. He has, that's his title, okay? Yes. So, you know, this obviously is hearkening back to his glory days. Uh, and it's, it, it, I certainly took it as him trying to sort of like reset things, you know, like kind of wipe the slate clean and yeah. go, okay, I'm going to try and be an honest content creator putting out honest content, right? So I saw this and I'm like, look, <laughs> I like, I, I actually am thinking about one way through my head at that time. I, I think in general, I was like, I believe in second chances for people. Okay, a lot of people don't think this guy deserves a second chance mm -hmm. because what he did was so egregious. It's the cardinal sin in, you know, journalism and coverage and whatever else. And he doesn't deserve a second chance. I think that's a perfectly valid perspective. Anyone that thinks this guy should never have another chance to work in games or near games ever again, I think that's fine. And I, you know, would not never push back on that idea. I think I looked at that uh, and I'm like, maybe he should just have the chance yeah, to look. work hard yeah. and like build himself up again. Not, not like say, let's forgive him straight away, but maybe he should have the chance to just put out good honest content and re rebuild and rehabilitate himself. This is what I think. I personally believe people, I think after a certain amount of time in purgatory, have the shot of giving something another red hot go in some capacity. Do I think that he should ever be able to jump into IGN and work there again or Polygon or Kotaku? In reality, no. I think that there's a capacity that he may exist in if he does the hard yards 
if he's served his time in purgatory and if he starts putting out good, honest content, I'd be open to watching that. I'd be open to giving this guy a platform in some capacity. Sure. Some people don't agree with that. That's fine. Yeah, and that's, I, that's totally cool. Yeah, exactly. Again, we've memed on it. Like He deserved the meme, right? Sure. It's been two years now. I think the other mistake that I made in this was that I also likened it to cancel culture, mm -hmm. which is not right. Like, obviously, that was the wrong phrase to use. I was just saying that 2020 has got me thinking about forgiveness. Do you know what I mean? Because we talk a lot about social media and its impact on things and mistakes people make and whatever else. Yeah. Uh, obviously, cancel culture wasn't the right phrase to use. But I said, I do stand by the idea that in some circumstances, second chances are good. Do you know, in a lot of circumstances, second chances are good. Do you know what I mean? I agree. And, I agree. Uh, and that's sort of what I was talking about there. Regardless, I tweeted out like, hey, maybe this guy should be allowed to exist. Go for it. I, you know, I said, if he wants to work hard, I support it. Got dragged over that publicly. It happens. These yep. things, we all have bad days on social media some days. That was mine for sure. Uh, Philip Mewson though decided that he would have a worse day on social media because he decided he would go to war with his IGN colleagues yep. who were very rightly kind of annoyed, and annoyed angry. and angry that he because was put, mounting this return in yeah. this way. Because it put IGN, let's be real, it put IGN after, uh, under a lot of pressure. You know, there was going to be there was of course a lot of questions floating around about about their legitimacy, especially. It just, you know, they are rightfully angry about what happened. Definitely. And I can understand why they would never welcome, welcome him back into I the I can community. understand how they can remain angry forever. Forever. And always carry that, and that's legitimate and fair, yeah. you know? So what happened was, one of his uh, colleagues, when he actually posted on Twitter his thumbnail for the review, the comment was, fuck off. Yeah. Right? That's what he said. I think it was Ryan McCaffrey. Oh, it was okay. like one of their head honchos at IGN. Cool. He's angry now. What to totally fair tweet, by the way, in yeah. my view. What would have been yeah. the play? That's the question. What would have been the play? Yeah. Would it have been snapshot it, retweet it, make a big thing about it, yeah. and play yourself as the victim? No. Okay. I don't think that's the actual way to do this. Unfortunately, okay? that's exactly what Philip Mewson did. That's exactly what he did. Okay? He retweeted out, being told to fuck off by an executive of one of the most well-known entertainment companies, not to mention a former direct superior, can only happen in the gaming community. No, DMC Ryan, you can't delete your indecency, just like I can't delete my plagiarism. Oh, at least he's owning his plagiarism now, okay? <laughs> that is a step forward. Now look, as you see now, he did say, Ryan, uh, Ryan McCaffrey did say, fuck off, he's got it there. He snapshot it. Now, further down, Ryan actually does respond and he says, You playing the victim here is absolutely hilarious and completely on brand for you. Again, not the way to play it. You are trying to come back. And there is an element of the community, in some respects, you want them to have your back. You do not want to go on Twitter and start having a war with an IGN employee and, and an ex-colleague. I think some people have said that, you know, it's right that Philip uh, sort of defend himself against uh, this sort of attack from IGN, from Ryan or whatever else. Again, I'm of a view that IGN gets to tell Philip Houston to fuck off whenever they please. Every other week. Because... Yep. That's how it goes, man. When you fuck people over, that's how it goes. And other people can choose to forgive you or not, but they don't they don't have to, you know? Yep, there's so other anyway, old, go on. Yeah, I was gonna say there's other things that have happened here now. A public and a private little uh, tweet happened here now. Firstly, Mitchell Saltzman went publicly on Twitter and said, the bridge has been burnt. And every time you resurface and try to come back, you're just inviting more negativity into your life. No amount of apologies or promises to do better will bring that bridge back. Then he privately messages uh, good old Musel, uh, yep. Muselk. <laughs> no, not Muselk. Okay, Musin, Musin. And he says, hey, Philip, uh, if my tweets come across as negative, I want to apologize. I was very surprised when I saw that video, but if this is the path that you still want to follow, I wish you nothing but the best, and I hope that you're able to push past the negativity. Yeah, so this this tweet, these series of tweets, by the way, from Mitchell Salzman were very kind of like... I don't think he's like... He wasn't being malicious. He was being very much like, you know... Move on, dude. Move on, man. Yeah. Like, you know, he wasn't being like vindictive or rude or whatever he was very much like I, I get that you want this but you you can't have this yeah, now you've yeah. got to move on to something else yeah. and then after that because he felt kind of bad about it he dm'd him being like listen man i'm being negative and i'm sorry about that i just you know i want the best for you good luck and then fucking Philip Mewson retweets that yeah, shit. Like three tweets the DM. It's like, dude, like, what are you doing? Yeah, look, I, I, what I, are you doing? You know? Even if there was a point to be made that there, which I don't believe, I really feel like it's actually on brand privately and publicly what he was trying to say. It's That's not the way to do it, man. It so really bad. isn't. You know, you've you've really then tried to, you know, what 
out someone, and you've been out, okay? You're the one that's been, you know, caught plagiarizing, so, dude. You don't go on Twitter and then try and share private DMs and try and embarrass someone when, like, yeah. you are in the position right now where you are looking for atonement. So you do not do this stuff in my So opinion. after a full day, because I left my tweet up all day, because I'm like, look, I said something dumb about cancel culture, and a lot of people don't think this guy should be forgiven, but I'm like, look, if he really wants to work hard at a second chance, then, you know, Godspeed to him. But then I saw all this and I deleted my tweet. I'm like, fuck off, man. That's ridiculous. Mm. I tweeted it out. I deleted my Philip Mewson tweet. He's picking fights with former colleagues who have every right to be angry with him. That isn't the path back to trust and not what I had in mind when I tweeted out about second chances. I'm sorry I misjudged the situation. So uh, that tweet speaks for itself. I'm not going to explain that. Philip has responded to me now with his own series of tweets. He yes. says, I'm not picking fights. I'm standing up for myself and the right to make videos about something I love, video games. I simply would like the opportunity to do that. To I say am... that I have the right now, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's the first I thing. I mean, look, he has the right. It's just a question of, he doesn't have the right to support. He doesn't have the right to Exactly. He doesn't have the know? right for a community. Right so now. when the former employer tells you to fuck off on a neutral platform like Twitter, on your own post that has nothing to do with them, and then deletes their tweet because it was indecent, I can't sit idle. When former colleagues reply to my tweet, tweets and publicly dismiss me while offering forgiveness and encouragement privately in DMs, I can't sit idle. I think that's bullshit, by the way. Mm. I do not engage with IGN or any of its employees until they confront me directly. They are coming to my Twitter and sending waves of hate for what? Something I am repeatedly attempting to repent for, both in private and public settings. I'm not trying to play a victim. I'm simply stating facts. I understand plagiarism. I understand plagiarism is wrong and I will never make that mistake again. The opportunity to prove that I have learned many hard lessons and am continuing to evolve as a human being is all that I'm hoping to gain. I think that is what you recognized in me with the tweet you deleted. I feel saddened that you deleted your tweet because I think that you truly do feel that way given your kind heart. I will keep working to try and do right by everyone I wronged, felt, and disappointed. You don't get to play the victim in any way, shape, yep. or form with this. If he had put in five years of hard work, making good, honest content, and, you know, and was just right in every way, and worked at a fucking charity shelter mm. three days a week, and also donated 50% of his salary to his church or whatever, IGN still gets to tell him to fuck yeah. off every day. Do you know what I mean? That's the way it works. But if everyone else wants to give him a shot, then they can do that and he can go about his life and exist. He doesn't get to pick fights on Twitter with those people that he wronged, publicly shaming them and exposing them for their personal DM messages and then playing the victim. I'm sorry. That's sort of like, no, dude, you have really fucked this up. Yeah, I think like, I'm sure a lot of people would love to have like the definitive answer. Does he deserve to come yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impossible to actually give that answer because each person is going to have their different opinions Opinion, and that differing opinion will support his little community that think he should and then the rest of are all just going to walk away and do their own thing I believe that he will have a small amount of people that will stick around sure. uh, may give him a second chance will watch his you know his upcoming videos he's a great editor I do think that he does put good stuff together when it's not plagiarized lol no but you know what I'm saying like he I, I do believe he has the quality there I just don't think now he has the brand there so I don't know if he's going to be able to fully come back and after this shit it just seems like the community is also going to turn their back on him now so who knows we will see we will see. And I'm, 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 I'm not talking about it anymore. I'm not. I, I've had my time on this yeah. topic, and I'm and done now. That's what he says now. I mean? and once then, bitten, twice shy. Yeah. And then he gets fool on me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on. Can't fool me again. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Can't right. fool me again. Okay. And then Ralph later on Twitter, he's like, I just think it's funny how. <laughs>